Hello everyone, this is Richard with Starfield Essentials. I have a breaking news edition. I have discovered something about the empty ship landing site problem that I was documenting on my PC videos. Here I am on Xbox, I'm on Pluto's moon, and I'm looking for an empty landing site. I wanted to find out if I found such a site, could I go to sleep for 24 hours? And as I was zipping along just looking for anything that looked random, I accidentally hit the throw grenade button instead of the map button. <laughs> and so I was embarrassed about that. It's usually why I don't have grenades enabled because I'm a little trigger happy on that right console button. But as I did that, I suddenly noticed a the sound of a ship landing. And I thought, this is crazy. Did I cause a ship to land by throwing a grenade? Now, clearly that's not what happened, but I apparently have stumbled upon a ship landing simply by running around out in the the wild of Pluto's moon, uh, Charon, I guess if you're a NASA astronomer, you, you pronounce it that way, and Charon if you're Greek. Here we have an ecliptic stiletto landing right in front of us, and the key aspect of this is look at where it is landing. It looks like a natural landing point. It's difficult to make out here in this example, but I have, breaking news, two more examples that follow directly after this, and I'll be able to show you exactly how to find these landing sites. So I run up to this ecliptic stiletto and I get into a little bit of a scrap. I want to try to steal this ship and that's what I'm able to do. Get on the ship, sit down, add it to my fleet and I've added an ecliptic stiletto just as a random encounter. Next I went to another part of Pluto and everywhere was frozen mountains but that didn't seem to make a difference. So I just decided to pick some area after landing in a couple others and see if I could repeat this trick. Except this time I would go for a place that looked like a natural landing zone because I had noticed that about the first location. And here I am walking around trying to find an area that looks like it might have a landing zone on it. And can you see it? Do you see it over there off to the left? Right underneath it, do you see it? That looks like a landing spot. And so my character jet packed over there. And as I got closer and closer, I was convinced that this was a landing spot. And again, there's no, there's no marker, there's nothing there. And as I got closer and closer to the site, I heard that reassuring sound of a ship landing. And I'm hearing it, so I'm looking around, trying to find out where it might be. And there it is, up in the sky, another ship landing. Once I got a good look at this ship, I could tell that it was an ecliptic bayonet. So this was gonna work out well. It's not a UC ship or anything like that. This is a ship that I clearly should be able to steal. My character draws his weapon, runs up to it, remembers I'm not gonna try to uh, eliminate all the adversaries in the outside because if I do the ship might take off as I've shown in a previous video So I run up and I my aim is terrible I'm so excited and I quickly become overwhelmed There's so many guys there and the ecliptic bayonet is inaccessible I can't go inside to try to steal it So I have to shoot things out with these ecliptics who are right near me. There's one right over here uh, Luckily, I'm able to take him out and Sarah is doing some work on the outside I shoot that one guy for good measure because I'm so excited but it turns out this was a uh, situation where they were dropping off ecliptics. And as soon as I left the ship, the ship took off. And I saw on the radar there, the HUD, that there was one more bad guy. And I shoot the ship just because I'm so angry that it took off. And I found the one ecliptic, and I got a good shot at him, and happened to nick him right in the boost pack, and he disintegrated. He, I could see his weapon flying off into space, but he was long gone. But here I was trying this trick one more time. I'm still on Pluto. I have literally just turned around and I look off into the distance and under the, do you see it? It looks to me like there is another natural landing pad. Well, not natural in this case, but that's just clearly put it there. So my character jetpacks over and as I'm listening, sure enough, I hear the sound of a ship landing and I can't believe it. I think I've solved the mystery of what's going on with these. Now take a look up in the sky and this looks to me like it's a spacer raccoon. So you know what I do if I see a ship? If I can, I will steal it. Since I'm on Xbox, I have to be able to steal ships that are enabled in the game to do so. I can't use one of my mods like I do on PC, but I draw my weapon and try to find where the, the loading ramp is. And I find it, uh, change my weapon and see the spacers. And once again, I charge in because I don't want to destroy them on the outside without getting access to the bridge. So I get into the spacer raccoon. I'm able to defeat the crew, add the ship to my fleet, and that's it. So what has happened here? I think what happened was Bethesda listened to customers who were complaining that when they just walked around on planets, nothing happened. Initially, if you walked outside your ship, another ship might land. 
But instead, I think what Bethesda has done is they have changed it so that if you go around looking for a natural ship landing zone, even though there is no marker, you may be lucky enough to come across a ship that is landing. This sort of adds that element of randomness that people have been looking for when they're walking around on seemingly empty moons or planets. So I'm going to continue testing this. I'm going to try it on the PC side, see if it makes any difference. This is on uh, vanilla Xbox 1.10.32. What are you seeing in your game? Please let me know. My name is Richard. This is Starfield Essentials. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the Starfield.